Glory to God. My dear brothers and sisters, I have a quick, powerful word just for you. It is a word that is going to bless you. A word that is going to encourage you. My dear brothers, I know some of you, you are fighting battles that you have no idea of. You are fighting an enemy that comes in the dark to attack you, steal what belongs to you, and takes off. Some of you wake up in the morning when things are missing. You can just sense it that something is missing in your life. You go to work tired. You come back from work tired. Your life has been a life that things have been draining you. Your energy has been going low. Some of you are facing false statements. False testimonies have risen up against you. But you overcome them. That's why today's word is your enemies will seek a false testimony against you. But you but but none will find but nine but they will find none. That is that is actually the word. They will seek false testimony against you, but will find none. They will try to hire people. They will try to hire lawyers. They will try to hire a crowd to pay them off, to falsely accuse you. But none of it will, be, will, will, will come to the truth. You will come out victorious. That's why I want to read you a scripture that is going to actually encourage you. This powerful word is from the book of Matthew, chapter 26, verse 59 to 68. Matthew, chapter 26, verse 59 to 68. And it reads, Now the chief priests, the elders, and all the council sought false testimony against Jesus to put him to death, but found none. Even though many false witnesses came forward, they found none. But at least two false witnesses came forward and said, This fellow said, I am able to destroy the temple of God and to build it in three days. And the high priest arose and said to him, Do you answer nothing? What is it? These men testify against you. But Jesus kept silent. And the high priest answered and said to him, I put you under oath by the living God. Tell us if you are the Christ, the Son of God. Jesus said to them, it is as you said, nevertheless, I say to you, hereafter, you will see the Son of Man sitting at the right hand of the power and coming on the clouds of heaven. Then the high priest took his clothes, saying, He has spoken blasphemy. What further need do we have of witnesses? Look! Now, you have heard his blasphemy. What do you think? Then they answered and said, He is deserving of death. Then they spat on his face and beat him, and others struck him with the palms of their hands, saying, Prophesy to us, Christ, who is the one who struck you? What a powerful word. They beat Jesus. They presented false testimonies against him. And the scripture says, they spat on his face. What a disgusting thing to do to the king of kings. They spat on his face. They beat him. They struck him with the palms of their hands. And even went ahead to mock him, saying, prophesy to us who struck you. Actually, they knew that Jesus can prophesy they knew. Now they say, prophesy to us who struck you. Some of you, 
people have mocked you they have done horrific things in your life they have sold a false testimony against you in courts of law on the streets of your state some of them actually preparing to falsely accuse you they have not yet done it but some of them are preparing but the end of it they will find no evidence they will find no witness it will amount to nothing scripture says they found none they found none even when the one fellow came and said this man had caught, uh, was accused of blasphemy it was it did not make sense they just wanted to do away with him some of the people that are coming up against you they just want to go out with you because you have gone ahead of them and they are so jealous. They want to take your position. They want to take that which is yours. Why do you think they steal from you? Some of you, 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 you do realize that even the people that steal from you, it seems like they are more wealthy than you, but no. If they are so wealthy, more wealthy than you, where do they steal what belongs to you? Why do they want to take your job? Why is it that they want to take your peace? Because what they call wealth is never worth to them. What they think is riches is not riches to them. It amounts to nothing. The true wealth is in you. I don't know where someone has heard it. I'll repeat it. The true wealth is in you. The wealth that Jesus, the true treasure is in you the wealth and treasure that Jesus has invested in you. That's why the scripture says, we have this treasure in earthen vessels. Brothers and sisters, it is the end of the world. Hope it has blessed you. I hope it has encouraged you. Remember to stay connected. Leave your comments in the comment section. Until next time, Shalom.